Hi there, EA Tischler here with New Horizons Golf. Today I want to show you some exercises you can do that will help you get better dynamic posture in your golf swing. You know, the tendencies for golf instruction over the years are, are you know, to sort of push everybody in one direction. In the old days, we used to hear things like, you know, turn in a barrel, swing in the barrel in the classic era. You know, we went through a power error, high hands in the back swing, high hands in the finish. And, you know, then we've got this sort of one plane images, you know, and two plane images that are going on. We have people that are taught that they have to bend over a lot, you know, from the waist and get the, the swing to rotate more around them. And the bending over from the waist is what's going to create the plane to get them more upright in their golf swing. Anyway, there's all these, these different types of theories. And, you know, over the last, you know, I'd say 10 years or so, you know, I believe that golfers have gotten away from some of the dynamic posture that really works best for them. And they, they get, you know, too focused on bending over too much in the golf swing. They lose what I call their vertical forces or their vertical actions in the golf swing. So, you know, I've got some circles zooming here just to give you an idea of what happens. And if I actually get into a posture where I actually feel like I'm in a good dynamic squat, I have good vertical pressures in my posturing, you're going to see that at address, my forearms and my thighs are going to be pretty parallel to each other. From this posture, as I actually make my backswing, it's actually very easy for me to stretch this bungee cord more up or more vertical in the backswing. If I bend over you know, from my waist, stick my butt out, bend my knees, I can get the look that my arms are parallel to my thighs, but what, what happens from here, when I try to swing up, I don't, I'm not in a position where I can create leverage, so I get stuck, it's a lot more work from here. What ends up happening in this case is a lot of golfers end up going too inside when they do this. And that's for them, not that that's a bad move, there are golfers that make that move and are very good at it. But if you're somebody who bends over a lot and your swing goes way inside, and then from there, you tend to loop it and get outside, and you're actually, you know, get a lot of swipes and glancing blows or pull hooks from that when you release it, then you probably need to get more vertical pressure into your posture, okay? So, you know, you can do this at home without a golf club. You can just get some surgical tubing or exercise tubing, stand on it, get your grip on the end, just like you would grip a golf club. From here, get that sense that you're trying to stretch that surgical tubing or that exercise tubing more upward in the backswing, more up through your right shoulder, okay? And it's a good exercise to do. So if you bend over too much, you're gonna find it's gonna be very difficult to do that. You're gonna get stuck. Or you're gonna find that when you're bent over, you're gonna to wanna to stretch it more inside. So stand up, get into a good dynamic posture. Feel your, feel your thighs, feel your glutes engaged, feel your chest up. From here, grab that surgical tubing and work on stretching it up more. Okay, if we reverse this in the golf swing, if I attach this up onto a door, I feel like in the downswing that I'm actually stretching that tubing more downward. I get that sense that I'm actually keeping my chest up, feeling those hands come down more in front of my chest, and then I deliver the club to impact and then finish it off. And so I'll make another video where we'll show that downswing version. For now, we just want to get this sense of how it works in the backswing. <clears throat> Once you're good doing it, with just the surgical tubing, you can do it with a golf club. So just get that surgical tubing to come up to the top of your grip, then the leftover excess tubing down the, down the grip angle and go ahead and grip it. Again, get your posture, feel like thighs and glutes are engaged, your chest is up, and from here, feel like you're gonna stretch that surgical tubing or up through your shoulder in the backswing. When you get a really good feel of this, you can actually use this to play shots out on the golf course or on the driving range. Even from here, I feel like the surgical tubing wants to pull my hands back down in front. And when it does, I'm gonna keep my chest up. I don't ever wanna feel like my head and my chest are diving down towards the ball in the golf swing. Okay, so if you have a problem or a tendency to get that club rounding to inside, looping it to the outside and getting a lot of swiping type releases. Try to use some of this uh, surgical tubing or exercise tubing at home. Get the feel of how to get good posture so you can stretch that tubing more upward in the backswing. 